So before we start the video, this is a repost of the video because I needed to make a correction. Thank you guys for pointing out where I was wrong. I will admit that I was wrong. Uh, I had some old information and I needed to do more exhaustive research before I opened my fat mouth. However, that still does not negate the overall point of the video, so I'm going to repost the video and hopefully it gets a better response. What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Yes, I'm back doing another solar video for you guys. I know that's been something that most of you have been waiting for for a long time. So let's get right into it. This video is going to be about one thing that everyone consistently gets wrong about solar power. Solar gets a lot of attention in the press, gets a lot of hype that some of it it deserves, some of it it does not deserve. This has led to a lot of misinformation and I literally get hundreds of emails and comments on my channel about solar and a lot of misinformation and a lot of wrong expectations about what it can and can't do. So I'm going to dispel one of them right now. Solar is not as green as everybody thinks it is. It's not even close to as green or eco-friendly as the media wants you to think. First, it takes a tremendous amount of energy to produce a solar panel. So it takes that solar panel many years, between 2 and 10, depending on what study you read and what information you add into that, to, to reach a break-even point. Most of the studies claiming short payback periods are focused more on the solar cells and not the solar panel as a whole, which includes an aluminum panel and glass and a whole bunch of other stuff that takes energy to produce as well. But to make matters worse, the manufacturing process for solar panels is very pollution heavy. They're made in, mostly in China with factories that do not have the same pollution standards as here in the United States. Very, very few solar panels are actually made in the United States or Germany or somewhere where they are going to care about the environment much. So again, it's going to take a solar panel a long time to overcome all of that pollution that was produced up front to be able to truly become green. Remember, this is a country that you can actually see the pollution on the eastern part of China from outer space. Another ugly secret is that solar panels require rare earth metals in order to be produced. The mining process for those metals is also very pollution intensive. And to add insult to injury, when the useful life of a solar panel is exceeded, they need to be recycled in order to safely dispose of those rare earth metals, otherwise they're toxic to the environment. And that recycling process actually consumes more energy, which makes this even less efficient. So some of you who haven't seen my videos right now are probably saying, who's this solar hater guy? I don't hate solar at all. I'm just tired of the misinformation. Solar has a lot of good things that it can do. For one, it can be a very good long-term financial investment. Is it the best investment out there for your money? No, no one's going to say that. But in most cases, at least in the United States, no matter where you live, you can get a fi solid financial return on solar power for your home. You can also use solar to achieve energy independence. Some people are sick of the grid power going down from their electric company, and some people are tired of rate hikes every couple years. So being able to produce your own energy on your own terms can be attractive to some people. So let's stop equating solar power to going green or being eco-friendly. This is like the state of California starting to mandate new homes be built with solar panels on the roof. To the uninformed, it sounds like a great idea, and it sounds like it's going to help this global warming problem that we have. And it gives lawmakers an excuse not to fund any further investments in power generation, especially for fossil fuels. Except that all of the power that was needed to produce that solar panel was from a coal plant in China, and all of the power that you need to supplement your power grid in California because you're not ready to fund, you know, power the entire state off of solar yet, you're purchasing that from Utah or Nevada or somewhere nearby, which is, you guessed it, producing that with fossil fuels like coal. So while you sit there with that smug look on your face like you are part of the solution, you've really just kicked that can down the road and made it someone else's problem. And don't get me started on electric cars being green. That's a rant for another video. Thanks for watching this video. Whether you agree with me or don't, please leave your comments down below and I'll try to get back to you.